If you ever want to create a faux freckle look on yourself, let me show you my two favorite methods on how to do it. It's super easy, but before I show you, don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel and then let's get right into it. I'm here to show you just the easiest, most straightforward ways to create a faux freckle with minimal products. And you might not even have to buy anything in addition to what you already have in your personal makeup collection. So I'm gonna share my favorite way first, which is going to be using just a powder eyeshadow. Everyone has powder eyeshadow. Everyone especially has some form of brown neutral or red undertone powder eyeshadow. So that's gonna be like the best method. Before we do it, I'm gonna put my blush on. I haven't done my blush yet. As you can see, my makeup is on. It's already set and all those things. But I am gonna do a couple more things on camera just so you can see in preparation what you should do and be mindful of before you do a faux freckle look because you want it to last. You don't wanna have faux freckles on your face and then two seconds later, they're sliding off your face because you put it on top of a base that's already really glowy or you put it on top of a cream blush that's also super glowy where it just doesn't have a chance to sit. I'm gonna do a little bit of pressed powder just to kind of finalize my, my setting of my makeup before I go in with my faux freckles. I'm just gonna use the soft matte powder from NARS. I use the shade Creek. And just grabbing a small brush, this is a 110 from BK Beauty. Now what I wanna do really quick is just set my cheek, my inner cheek a little bit more. I already have a small amount of loose powder all over to set my foundation that I have on, but just to reinforce it even more, and this is especially gonna be helpful if you have oily or combination oily skin, because you're gonna get that longevity out of your faux freckles and they're not just gonna be sliding around all day looking kind of messy. Taking a little bit of pressed powder and I'm gonna focus it on the areas that I'm going to put my faux freckles. So. That's typically, depending on what look you're going for, but typically a faux freckle look is gonna be centered in the center of your face, kind of going straight across your nose in the inner parts of your cheeks. Now, it's up to you how many faux freckles you wanna create, but I'm gonna keep it pretty simple and pretty universal. The most trendy way to apply your faux freckles is gonna be straight across your cheek and across the bridge of your nose. So doing a little bit more powder. And now I'm choosing to wear a powder blush because I wanna keep those faux freckles on all day because otherwise what's the point? They're just gonna look really messy. We don't want all that hard work to go to waste. This is the Makeup by Mario Soft Pop Powder Blush. I love the shade Mellow Mauve. So I'm gonna apply this with just a flat but fluffy Zoeva brush. I'm gonna tap it on and I'm gonna get it all in the center of my cheeks. I'm gonna get it on like the apples and my cheeks and just go for like an overall really youthful blush placement for this makeup look. And I am gonna sweep a touch across my nose. This is also something I definitely recommend because this is going to give you that really youthful wash of color across your cheeks and your nose. It just kind of ties the whole look in. So pressing this on and you know, because this is a matte blush, it's really gonna be like an additional layer of powder to keep your faux freckles in place. So great if it's the summertime and let's say you have a tint of moisturizer on, put some balance into that makeup look by wearing some powder blush on top because it will really just give your overall makeup look more longevity. So my first and most preferred method for a faux freckle and again, there's countless ways you can do this. Like there's so many ways, but the most straightforward and most user-friendly is going to be with these products. So I just have a basic matte neutral brown eyeshadow palette. This is from Milani. It's the Gilded Mini in the shade Whiskey Business. So this is a drugstore eyeshadow palette. It's super inexpensive. Now, not everyone's gonna have this kind of brush. You could swap it out for an angle brush and just use the tip and I will show you how to use the tip of this brush in addition to this one if you really don't have it and you don't wanna go out and get a very fine eyeliner brush like this one, but this is going to be the most effective way to get your faux freckles. So first things first, grab a setting spray, preferably one that's not a glowy based one. This is a long lasting setting spray, which is going to help overall with the process of this. So it's the MAC Fix Plus Stay Over Alcohol Free Long Lasting Setting Spray. This is one of my favorites. I'm gonna first wet this little Bedellium Tools 706 brush. And it doesn't need to be sopping wet. It doesn't need to be dripping. In fact, that's gonna make it really hard to work with it. So what I like to do is do two different tones to get a more authentic and just more natural looking faux freckle. Cause if it's all uniform in one color, it tends to look really fake. So I'm gonna start with the darkest one first, which is this dark brown, it's nice and neutral. Just dipping the tip of my brush into that product. And now what I recommend is using your pinky to stabilize your brush hand applying light pressure. Now, don't be afraid to also bend the brush as you go because freckles are not uniform. They're not perfect circles. They never will be and they shouldn't be. That's not natural. So some are gonna be longer, some are gonna be thicker, some are going to be wider and then some are gonna be little tiny itty bitty dots. You need that variety to make them look like they're actually freckles on your face and not super fake. Now I'm gonna stop talking when I'm doing this because my pinky is on my chin and that's what's stabilizing my hand.
but you want to be just free handed with it in, in some sense. Like you don't want to be so calculated where you're like dot, 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 and you're measuring the distance between. You want to have some areas that are actually clustered with freckles because again, that's what natural freckles do. There's going to be clusters in one spot. They're going to be spread out in other areas. That's what's going to give you the most natural effect. Now I'm going to stop with this darker tone. I'm going to take my finger and just gently pat it in. This may not seem like it's doing much, but it's really just removing that very top layer of powder that you don't want. You want to kind of push it into the skin and just make it look a little more blurred so it's looking more natural and less makeup-y. So now I'm gonna switch over to the Ingo brush because I wanna show you how, just for demonstrative purposes, how you could use an Ingo brush because most people are gonna have this on hand. You wanna make sure that you're not using the entire length of the Ingo brush and rather just this tiny little tip. So same technique, we're gonna wet it wipe off the excess. And this time I'm going to dip into that more caramel red toned brown because I want to add that different variation in tone to really give it a more organic and natural look. So taking the tip and I'm just dotting. Same thing, being very mindful just to use that sharp, really pointed tip. And you're just going to layer it on top of the other one. Bringing this other tone in there is just going to give it that realistic look. Because freckles, again, they're never all one color, never. So to use just one tone is just really unrealistic. So by throwing this warm tone in there, especially it gives it that visual of like, almost like sun-kissed freckles. Don't skip on throwing that additional color in there, especially if you have a palette like this that has a neutral and more of a warm tone, this is gonna be your best bet. So I'm just gonna tap on a little more and just be sporadic about it. Just kind of throwing them in there And this is where you want to be your own artist. This is where it's up to you where you want to stop, how many freckles you want to see, what look are you going for. Add a touch more throughout my cheek. And if there's any areas that you just didn't love the way it, the shape of it or the way it came out or if you put too many in one spot, a pointed Q-tip is going to be your best friend. I love the way these all look, but just to show you what I mean, you could just easily lift one up and remove it. So don't be afraid. You can just remove it and move on. So that is my preferred method. I've been using that method for years and actually in my professional makeup kit, what I use is an actual brow palette. So Anastasia Beverly Hills and a couple other brands have an entire booklet of all the brow powder shades you could possibly need. Those are my best friend on set. I use that palette on so many things. It's not even funny. In fact, I, I feel like I should film a video on how many different uses you can get out of a brow palette. But one of the uses is to create a faux freckle or also to just enhance existing freckles, which I do all the time as well, just to bring them out even more because sometimes the camera can wash them out. But with that said, not everyone has a brow palette, like a big brow palette in their collection. So grab yourself a, just an inexpensive matte brown eyeshadow palette that has different variations in undertones in it. And this will be all you need. So moving on to an alternative method that is not my favorite, but it's worth mentioning because it is really easy. If you know me and you know my channel and you know my Instagram, you know that I'm obsessed with the NYX Lift and Snatch brow pen. This is the tinted brow pen from NYX. It's like nine or $10 or $11. I'll make sure I link it in the description box because it is so inexpensive. You can get it at the drugstore. I get mine at walmart.com and they're just really a great and expensive product. Now I love these for my brows. I fill in my brows. I keep these in my makeup kit. They are so phenomenal and they're just really inexpensive. There's a ton of different brow markers that are much more expensive from like Anastasia Beverly Hills, Glossier. So many people have them, but this one to me, it's just the best. Now it is worth mentioning that Freck actually came out with the original freckle paint. Basically it's like a liquid liner. It looks like a liquid liner and you dot it on as a way to create faux freckles. But since this is not something you would use every single day and I don't feel like it's something that everyone has in their possession. And if you don't wanna go out and buy something that you're not gonna use for multiple purposes and really get your money's worth, I wanna show you how to use the brow pen because this is just more universal and it's so quick and it's so easy. What I always do is shake it. This is going to make sure that the ink, the product actually gets down to the felt pen. But then also we'll just kind of do a couple test runs. Doing a couple test rounds on your hand is just gonna kind of get your the motion down. So. I suggest if you're not familiar with using a brow pen and if you're afraid of using it on your face, because it could go wrong very quickly, let me tell you. Just practice on your hand, get the motion down, and then you'll be good to go. So I'm not gonna talk for this part because this takes a little more focus than the powder. So taking my lift and snatch, taking my pinky, I'm gonna rest it. 
Now, before this dries, this one is crucial that you push into your skin. You have to fade this one because the pigmentation on these brow pens is way more intense than that soft shadow. So this is a different method and this is gonna require a little more patience and a little more time and a little more effort overall, but it's worth a shot because since this is a pen, it dries down on your skin. And so the longevity you get out of this is really phenomenal. So if you have the patience and you feel like your skill level is a little bit up there in terms of like having a steady hand and having the patience to apply this, it's worth it. Also, just to note, if you have really, really oily skin, this is gonna dry down on your skin and it's going to really stay put a little bit better on oily skin than a powder would. So just throwing it out there so you have all the information needed for an easy faux freckle, but take those into consideration. Okay, let me finish this. I'm gonna stop talking for a second. Tap it in, push it into your skin. Don't rub it. Don't ever rub it. <laughs> just apply a good amount of pressure. Like I feel like I'm giving myself a little lymphatic drainage massage right now just by pushing this in and then repeat. I'm gonna cluster a couple in this inner part of my cheek, right along the side of my nose. But if you can tell, I am just barely tapping my skin, just barely tapping. This is where the patience comes in. Now, this is where you wanna take a step back to. And instead of being so pushed into your mirror, which is like, obviously you need to see, but you lose perspective. So, and you need the perspective when you're doing some kind of like imitation freckle look. So this is where you take a step back, get the entire picture. Where am I missing? Okay, this side, I'm just gonna throw it out there. This side is my absolute favorite, but you already know that. Like to spoiler alert, you already know this is my favorite side. This is my preferred method. It clearly looks the best, but this side is definitely still worth mentioning and a great alternative option for creating a faux freckle. So since I got that perspective, I need to add a lot more in this region. You know, it doesn't have to match this side entirely and you can that's the beauty of a faux freckle there's no exact roadmap of what they should look like to a t they're all going to be unique and that's the beauty of freckles so let me go in and just add a few more another thing i should mention too is the brow pen that i have is meant to match my almost black hair like i have almost black hair it's very dark brown so the brow pen that i have is gray black the shade is actually gray black. So it's a much more cool tone. So this is for demonstrative purposes, but what I really would suggest is if you're going to use the method of using a brow pen, make sure you choose one that has a slightly more warm undertone because it's going to give you more of this look and less of a cool undertone. But again, for demonstrative purposes, I'll be using my gray black. Now, one last tip, if you feel like it's just not melting and jiving into your skin enough, you can take a little more of your pressed powder and I'm talking a tiny bit and just go over any areas that you feel like are a little too harsh. This will also, of course, soften the sharpness of that brow pen and just work it into your skin just a touch more. Finishing step, we're gonna take that setting spray one last time, but this time we're gonna actually spray our face and not a brush, so hold please. And that completes this easy faux freckle tutorial. I really hope you enjoyed this tutorial. I think freckles are just some of the most beautiful things on the planet. So every time I get a model in my chair or a client who has freckles, I just kind of drool over them because personally, I wish I had freckles of my own, but I don't. So if you're like me and you ever wanted to have freckles of your own, try these techniques, leave me a comment, let me know how they work for you. Practice them, I promise you they're super easy and they're just so much fun to try. If you enjoy fun makeup looks like this, make sure you click on this next one right here. I have so many more this came from. Give this video a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel and I'll see you in the next one. Bye. Oh,